What is the link between diabetes and hypertension? High blood pressure or hypertension often occurs alongside diabetes and obesity. Together, these conditions fall under the umbrella of metabolic syndrome. People with metabolic syndrome are at an increased risk for cardiovascular diseases. Hypertension and diabetes share a number of common causes and risk factors. A person who has one condition is at an increased risk of developing the other. Likewise, a person who has both conditions may find that each condition worsens the other. This video provides information on the link between high blood pressure and diabetes. Identifying hypertension and diabetes. Some relatively simple tests are available to help a person identify whether they have diabetes or hypertension. Identifying hypertension. The American Heart Association states that most people who have hypertension do not experience any symptoms. People usually discover that they have hypertension following a routine blood pressure check. A blood pressure reading will display numbers representing two different types of blood pressure, systolic and diastolic. Systolic. This number appears at the top. It represents the maximum pressure the heart exerts when beating. Diastolic. This number appears at the bottom. It represents the amount of pressure in the arteries between heartbeats. The American Heart Association categorizes blood pressure readings according to the following parameters. Normal. Systolic is below 120 and diastolic is below 80. Elevated. Systolic is 120 to 129 and diastolic is below 80. Hypertension stage 1. Systolic is 130 to 139 or diastolic is 80 to 89. Hypertension stage 2. Systolic is 140 or higher or diastolic is 90 or higher. Hypertensive crisis. Systolic is higher than 180 or diastolic is above 120. A hypertensive crisis is a medical emergency and a person requires immediate medical attention to prevent severe complications. Identifying Diabetes According to the American Diabetes Association, not everyone with diabetes will experience symptoms of the disease. If symptoms of high blood glucose levels do appear, they may include excessive thirst, excessive hunger, frequent need to urinate, extreme fatigue, blurred vision, delayed wound healing. A person may also find that they become more susceptible to infections such as urinary tract infections, thrush, upper respiratory tract infections. People can take a fasting glucose test to help identify diabetes. The American Diabetes Association provides the following parameters for blood glucose levels following a fasting period of at least 8 hours. Normal. This is less than 100 mg per deciliter. Pre-diabetes. This is between 100 to 125 mg per deciliter. Diabetes. This is a reading of 126 mg per deciliter or above. Other tests for diabetes can show blood glucose levels after drinking a sugary drink. Types of diabetes and their symptoms. There are three kinds of diabetes, all of which have different causes. Type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder in which the body mistakenly attacks cells in the pancreas that produce insulin. The disease tends to appear during childhood or adolescence, though it can occur later in life. Type 2 diabetes. 
type 2 diabetes occurs as a result of insulin resistance this is where body cells lose their ability to respond to insulin the pancreas tries to compensate by producing more insulin but the process is not sustainable current guidelines recommend diabetes screening for everyone ages 45 years or above and anyone younger who has risk factors for the di disease early diagnosis and treatment can help slow or even reverse the disease reducing the risk of complications gestational diabetes gestational diabetes occurs only in pregnancy though around 50% of females with this form go on to develop type 2 diabetes if a routine screening shows high blood sugar levels during pregnancy a doctor will monitor the person's condition until a few weeks after delivery in most cases blood sugar levels return to normal immediately after delivery what is the link between diabetes and hypertension a 2021 article notes that diabetes and hypertension often occur together and may share some common causes this include sedentary lifestyle with excessive calorie intake obesity inflammation oxidative stress insulin resistance can diabetes cause hypertension a person with diabetes either does not have enough insulin to process glucose or their insulin does not work effectively insulin is the hormone that enables the body to process to process the glucose from food and use it as energy when a person has insulin problems the glucose cannot enter their cells to provide energy so it accumulates in the bloodstream instead high blood glucose levels can cause widespread damage to tissues and organs including those that play a key role in maintaining healthy blood pressure for example damage to the blood vessels and kidneys can cause blood pressure to rise can hypertension cause diabetes according to a 2018 article people with high blood pressure usually have insulin resistance and have an increased risk of developing diabetes compared to those with typical blood pressure this may be due to bodily processes that link both conditions such as inflammation oxidative stress activation of the immune system disease or thickening of the blood vessels obesity so while hypertension might not cause diabetes directly it could increase the risk of someone developing diabetes if they have high blood pressure diabetes and hypertension complications the combined impact of diabetes and high blood pressure can increase the risk of cardiovascular disease kidney disease and other health issues without treatment diabetes and high blood pressure may lead to serious complications such as eye problems kidney failure heart attack stroke managing blood sugar levels and blood pressure can help prevent complications risk factors hypertension and type 2 diabetes share similar risk factors this include being overweight or having obesity having a sedentary lifestyle following an unhealthy diet experiencing chronic stress having poor sleep habits smoking tobacco being exposed to air pollution additional risk factors for hypertension include a diet high in sodium low levels of potassium high alcohol consumption having a family history of hypertension increases the risk of hypertension suggesting a role for both genetic and environmental factors a close family history of diabetes also increases the risk of both type 1 and type 2 
diabetes. Having hypertension appears to increase the risk of type 2 diabetes and having diabetes increases the risk of hypertension. Prevention The following lifestyle factors are crucial for managing both blood glucose levels and blood pressure. Maintaining a healthy weight Being physically active Following a healthy diet Limiting alcohol consumption Avoiding or quitting smoking